Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> So we're here with Sam from Opeachy Hunt. We just walked through your hunt. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, designing this hunt and how it came about. Yeah, so I was, I've been doing Midsummer Scream for two years now. We always have our home haunt, but Midsummer has been a thing for two years. We usually do scary maze haunts anyway. That's usually the kind of thing we bring to Midsummer. And I'm just the kind of guy who always tries to mix thing up, things up. So I'm like, I gotta do something different. I gotta do something like no one's really done here before. And I was kind of thinking scavenger hunt sort of thing might be cool, but with the storyline and special effects and stuff. So I had to go through, I mean, obviously I had to go through a lot of the people who run the convention to figure this all out because it's so spread out and they have to draw power and things for us. So if this, if this wasn't really working hand in hand with the convention, it definitely wouldn't have happened. Right. So, special thanks to Midsummer Screen. Thanks for Midsummer, exactly. Because yeah. this this is actually spread out throughout the convention. It's like yeah. you walk. I mean, it also gives a chance for people to walk through the convention while they're doing this as well. So. That's what's fun for people. Like people will start playing it. They'll stop, get something at one of the vendors, and then continue. Yeah. And you can totally do that. That's what was really fun about this. It's kind of modular, so you can stop and start. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, we, we, we just got done with it. We really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, Talk to us a little bit about the characters. I, I noticed like a lot of the, you know, the voices and stuff that are in this in this um, production. Yeah. They sound like amazing. Who did a lot of the voice acting? Yeah, so a lot of it. So my uh, my dad's an animator, so he has a lot of voice actor connections. He did some of them himself, actually. But some of his friends did voice acting. He did some, and then I have a couple friends that did some stuff. Uh, this guy AJ Dana, I'm gonna shout out. He is an amazing voice actor, a friend of mine. He does a bunch of stuff for haunts. If you guys know Murder House Productions, he did Trick or Treat and stuff. And did you go to Resurrection last year? The home haunt. Oh man, I gotta remember. Yeah, shout out to them too. But he did. He does a bunch of voice stuff for them. He did uh, our Frank voices for Donnie Darko Maze last year. He's a crazy voice actor. He did all the uh, the crazy villain guy that you hear at the end. He did a lot of those fun voices. So they're all like professional voice actors. And then um, all the characters. Most of them are from the first year we did this. It was a show at our home haunt two years ago. It was more of a show format. So like Jack and Gus and the Magician, I don't know if you guys saw him in those two different hunts. They're all from that show. And then like the uh, the Barbershop Quartet and some of those things are new characters we're introducing for this year. Because there's going to be a whole other haunt at home with a whole new show that continues the plot of this. Because obviously this kind of ends on a cliffhanger. You don't know where the spirit is. You don't know who he is. Yeah, all got, will be revealed. I gotta like a cool little Ghostbusters vibe at the end. Too, yes, which is really cool. So yes. I, I don't know if that was an inspiration or not, but that for was, sure, with all the rays cool. and everything. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a really cool effect so, at the end. Keep in mind, if you experience this here, uh, definitely come on down to October because the story completely continues. We have it all mapped out like how it's gonna Sweet. go. Sweet, yeah, so. very much looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, I was here last year. Uh, you did the Donnie Darko experience. You went through that? I did. Awesome. Um, I that was the first year I came to Midsummer Scream. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna yeah. be honest. Never seen the film, but <laughs> I was just gonna ask. after 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 walking through it, it made me want to watch the film. Yeah. And uh, that was just a preview of what we got. I didn't get to attend the full length one that you did. Yeah. But the preview that we got was amazing. Yeah, from, thank you so much. Uh, sending one person at a time to go through the haunt and stuff like yeah. that. Uh, you mentioned that it was actually a lot. It was really hard to put this on together because there's not a lot of Donnie Darko like stuff out there. Uh, yeah. And also, it's not like the super hauntiest movie, but like I was a fan of it, and it had an eerie enough vibe where we could kind of put it into a haunt. So it was again, it was a little, um, it was a little kind of unusual, but we we wanted to work with it because it's a movie I like, and it's something that. I don't know. It's it's not big enough for something like horror nights to do. Yeah. But there's a cult enough following at somewhere like Midsummer Scream to enjoy it. Yeah. And people went through with like Donnie Darko tattoos, and I was like, you know, yeah, there was crazy a lot fans of, were coming. A lot of fanboys, and that 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 maze was one of the most packed at the event last year. Yeah. Too. I was blown away. I mean, it was I wasn't expecting a turnout like that. Yeah, it was amazing. Well, Sam, uh, thank you for taking the time to do this yeah. interview with us. Uh, OPG Hunt. He's gonna have the full um, experience later on this year, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the story is gonna continue. If you got to experience it at Midsummer Scream, you were lucky. It was a very good uh, little uh, show that they put on for us, a very yeah. good little scavenger hunt. Uh, and if you guys are lucky enough, go experience the uh, continuation of the story. Halloween uh, Jamboree 2. 
it's coming. It's uh, coming. Do you want to plug anything in as well? Like yeah, um, our, we have like all the socials at OPG Haunt. It's O-P-E-C-H-E-E -E Haunt. And uh, you can look up our, our name on Google and find our website. Our URL is just stupid, so just Google our name. Uh, thank you very much, Sam, for Thank the you. Time. Thank okay. you, yeah.